I went to every garage sale in O'Neill, Nebraska. Please don't hate me. I didn't go to any of the ones that were just Saturday, but I went to all of the Thursday and Friday ones, and I got a bunch of stuff. Let's start with these shoes. These shoes were like brand new, so that was cool to get those for like $3. Uh, these were a dollar. I don't even know if they'll fit, but they look pretty nice. Uh, this hat was a quarter, pretty sick. I ended up getting this for a dollar. I'm <laughs> doing that thing where it like goes down. Shelf for 50 cents. Not sure what I'm gonna use that for. This was a dollar. This was such a good price on this. <laughs> this was actually a pretty cool garage sale to go to. Uh, she was really firm on this sweatshirt for three bucks. Uh, then that same garage sale had these. And I got these just cause I use them for my shop when I like deliver like cards and stuff. So I got those for a buck. That was a pretty good deal. Cause there's like probably a hundred in there. I feel that when you're going garage sailing and you're going to like a bunch of garage sales, I think it's okay. And I think it's fine to find like really good finds at the garage sales. And then like, you know, selling them on eBay or something just to make some of your money back because I probably spent, you know, 10 to $12 just on gas. So to find stuff like that for two bucks, I think they're, you know, I think both of them are probably like 50 to $60 on eBay, if not more. So just to find stuff like that, I think is really good when you're garage sailing. If you're going to a couple of them, you know, maybe don't, you know, buy stuff to sell on eBay, but when you're going to like 40 something garage sales, to find stuff like that, to just make some of the gas money back. Anyway, got this for a dollar, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle lunchbox. And then I know nothing about this. I've never played the games or anything, but a Metroid trilogy for five bucks. I was comfortable play paying $5 for that just because this is really heavy. And if I can get it out of the sleeve, like it just looks awesome. I got this coat. For a dollar, it's kind of ripped up somewhere, like right there. I got it for a dollar because I'll probably use it to play hockey with. These were sick. These are almost brand new, and I think they are brand new. There's some like scuffing on them, but these are, I, I just want to say brand new. Brand new hockey skates, or ice skating skates. They're not actually hockey skates, but those look sick. They're like clear white and the only scuffing is like right there. I got those for 10 bucks. That was a really good price on those. And then she gave me these ones for $5 for both of them. These weren't like the best condition ones, but like I said, she gave them for five bucks for both pairs. So that was pretty good. And then this like Jersey thing, I'll probably wear at the hockey games. Wow, uh, that for a dollar. And then, this was like one of the last garage sales I went to. And trust me, I I probably would have gave them more for this, but at that point I was so tired of garage sailing that they had $3 on all of this in the basket. And it has a cord for like a cable and some other cords. I haven't even looked at those, but these games were $3 for all of them. So at that point, I was just like, here's three dollars, <laughs> like I'm, I'm ready to like go home. I was hungry and everything. Got some of like these boxes, like six of those. And I got this paper shredder for two dollars. This little duckling figurine, I thought that was pretty cool. The shelf. I ended up going to, uh, shout outs to Jace. Jace had Pokemon cards for sale. I'm debating on this. If you're in the comments right now and you want to comment that I shouldn't do this, please flood the comments saying I shouldn't do this. I never buy cards to play with. And I always wanted to like open packs to get cards to play with instead of just buying the cards. But it gets expensive trying to get the cards that you want to get to play with. So if you're okay with it, like on the channel of everyone unless people are in the comments and like 
you shouldn't do that you should stick to like you know just opening and getting the cards to play with if you're okay with these 38 cards that i bought from a garage sale i plan on putting them in my deck unless like i said in the comments people are going crazy but anyway if you're okay with that i think i'm gonna let those go into my deck I'll give it a month from the day that this is posted, if these will go to my, like, my decks and stuff. But anyway, thanks for, uh, joining, like, a little bit of the haul. Uh, we'll catch you next time. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. Otherwise, peace.